Okay, welcome back. We're here in the next episode of House of the Blue Sun with High King Andrew of Ireland. We are sitting on one, two, three, four counties, two duchies, in the Kingdom of Ireland. Right now, our betrothed is in jail. We can't ransom her. And we're trying to murder her jailer. Duke Adam. So the Duke is way down here in Klagenfurt, in Bavaria. Far from home. So our murder scheme is about halfway through its progress. Uh, we're sitting on 95% chance success rate. And we're really hoping this is going to help us. <laughs> Hopefully, at his death, uh, we will be able to free our betrothed. I don't know why her liege won't do it. Who I believe is her grandfather. Probably because he's a covetous fool. What a D-bag. Alright, murder scheme is progressing. We're also trying to sway our uncle, Chief Nikalik, who is our chancellor. He still dislikes us quite a bit. Nobody else is not bad. Serendipi serendipitous espionage. It was not what you was hoping to find by spying on secret conversations, but discovering the truth about Sedata does not hurt. I don't know who this is. Well, she's a witch. Maybe that'll help. I'm not sure how. All right, this is our sway scheme on our uncle. I've gotten an idea in my attempts to align Chieftain Kellogg to my interests. With the right arguments, I may be able to convince him that I'm not acting I am acting not merely in my own interest, but in the interest of the Lord himself. Can we make a convincing argument, or should we keep quiet? Got a 67% chance. Let's roll the dice. He sees through our efforts. We spent prestige. Alright. We're also very stressed out right now. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way. The poison has been acquired and the duck was gifted to Duke Adam alone. It will be rubbed with the poison and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. The deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. If you recall... Let's go back up to our founding father here. So our great-great-grandfather, High King Matthew had a real penchant in his younger days for murdering people with poison roast duck. Bon appetit, Adam. Oh my gosh, it's been thwarted. My attempt on Duke Adam's life has been thwarted. The poison did not have its intended effect, but merely left the Duke bedridden for a week. Thankfully, it is thought to have been nothing but a common illness, and Adam is none the wiser. All right, next time we'll make sure he chokes on it. If at first we don't succeed, he's gonna gain watchful. We gotta try again. We gotta get rid of this dude and free our betrothed. We still got a super high chance. Got our spy master supporting it. Gotta get her. My spymaster, Manrique, approaches me with a wicked grin. My lord, this pouch contains a pattern most nefarious. If sprinkled on top of something, say a gift for Duke Adam, it leaves no trace, but will afflict whoever touches it with a weakness and ill humors. Oh, every time this costs money, it's stressing me out. We gotta get rid of this dude, though. We're going for it. We're starting to get desperate. We're 21. A betrothed has been in jail for four years, I think. We gotta get her out. Archbishop, Archbishop Kelte often quotes passages from the scriptures about the holy virtues. I should prove I have paid attention by quoting a passage of my own, preferably one which complements his personality. 
I will memorize and recite a section on chastity, compassion, or forgiveness. What do we think? He's content, he's honest, and diligent. Boy, I don't know. Let's try chastity. All right, we did it. So he gained 30 opinion of us because we showed kindness. All right, our neighbor has won against Athlone. Uh, we got to keep an eye on the sway scheme. Still not working against our uncle. Uh, so he holds all these titles. That's not going to help us. Ooh, and his primary heir is the King of Scotland. Uh, we are going to have to do something with him before he dies. So he is 54. Ah, we really don't want Scotland to gain that. So, can seize de jure county, either one. We want to conquer the duchy? Ah, we don't have the piety. Why is it piety? Not prestige. Can subjugate him, that takes prestige. Do we want him to become our vassal? Uh, it takes piety because he's of our faith. Well, we need more piety. All right, let's take another lifestyle perk here. Learning per level of devotion. I think we're pretty low. What do we want? Let's let's take this one. Start moving down there. Wait, is he in jail? Ah, the king jailed him. Okay. What for? Does it tell us? He's under house arrest. Okay. Not sure why. Duchess Matilda tells me that a local celebration in Leinster, the home of Duke Adam, that's clearly not correct, is struggling with money. If it is held, it would draw a lot of people, both high and low, to the area. A perfect opportunity for infiltration. I'm sure it's held. Can I increase our stress a lot? will not waste money on him. Um, I think we're going to have to do that because our stress level is becoming a concern. So let's do that. Get back down there. We can then lawfully imprison our half-brother for attempting to murder a family member. Let's do that. As per my orders, Egidio is now to be confined to his home. I posted some of my guards to ensure he is compliant with the house arrest. Let's take a look. He's probably, yeah, he's not landed. He's probably not going to have any gold. So we'll let him sit in jail for a while. Our cousin was released from prison. Boy, Scotland is just pretty powerful. And super pious, too. Check that out. He's a religious icon. This guy is 80. He has been around forever. Our uncle was taken prisoner? 
Ah, as I make all the preparations necessary for Duke Adam's departure from this world, I am interrupted by a page. The knave went and died without any help from me. Died in captivity. Satan must have been eager for his company. <laughs> Good. All right, well, he's dead. Are you ever going to be released? <gasps> She's free! Uh, let's go ahead and get married. Quickly. To the handsome High King Andrew of Ireland, I will gladly accept your marriage proposal. You will be joined with my niece Elia in holy matrimony. Ah, it was her niece. I thought it was his granddaughter. May God grant you long life and children. Excellent. Finally, that took forever. Well... Things are much less dicey now. Our wife is here. We're married. Uh, we just need to produce some heirs. And mostly with our stress right now, we need to have a party. Uh, let's go up here and increase control of Brefni. Um, who are you at war with? Ah, High Chieftain Antonius. On the earldom of Umain. Uh, Y'all are just fighting each other. Okay. My vassals are fighting each other. Now might be a good time. Alright, our uncle... Apparently our uncle is a king. What do we got? We got a faction... Ah, uh, fate smiles upon us. My wife, High Queen Ilya, is bearing a child. Excellent. Okay, so our stupid ass cousin is an ally with Meath. He is. Oh, he can't. Alright, I misread that. He can't join a faction. We've got peasant rabble. Not too worried about the peasants. Finally, we can hold a feast. Let's do it. Down below our stress level. No, oh, we're sick. Perfect. High king or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the early morning hours, a dull ache pounding through my head and throat. Send for a physician. So we're sick, but we're still having a party. The guests are gathered in the great hall, lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. Let's see who came to the party. Um, we've got the Duchess. Who are... Oh, it's our half-sister. Okay, it's like, who are you? Uh, yeah, we've got a few family members here. Our sister declined. Also our heir. All right, a court physician. Finally, my servants have found some people who might be a better fit to serve as court physician. Either way, I fear I cannot afford to be picky now. All right, Ligur is 16. He is pretty good. Um... Leof Gifu. I feel like I've seen that name before. Has she not been around? He's experienced, but he is going to be expensive. But let's do it. Uh, we're also making sweet gold income right now. Our monthly income is 7.8. That is excellent. The time has come to treat your cold. While I'm fairly certain a simple tincture would suffice, the choice is yours, my lord. Let's do no more than what's necessary. Algir entered my chambers with an earthenware jar cradled in his arms and came to sit by my bed. He pulled a leech from the jar and gave it a most tender look before carefully placing it on my face. Remain still, my lord. Better not disturb their feeding. The leech has turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated and the world seems a little brighter. Excellent work, Logier. All right. Servants were carrying out impressively adorned 
accoutrements. A number of proud peacocks skinned, cooked, and stuffed, then were dressed in their magnificent plumages. However, as Leonor brought her knife close to one of them, the fowl came to came to with a shriek. This one wasn't cooked at all. It pecked at Leonor's nose before bursting forth among the screaming and light laughing yes. As the bird ran wild, Duchess Leonor rose to the challenge. It proved great entertainment to see her desperately chase the raving creature across the tables. In the end, she managed to scare the peacock towards the great hall doors, where it escaped into the night. No feast is complete without a prank. Um, the feasts are good to help reduce stress, and we also want to become eager revelers. I think that's a really good lifestyle trait to have. After days and nights of joyous company, my feast is over. Most every guest seems to head home pleased, perhaps, except perhaps Leonore, who is still clutching her nose with a peacock marker. I will call on you all again, my vassals. So we gain prestige, and every guest gains 20 opinion of us. That is good. Not an eager reveler yet. Um, let's do turn on the all hunt notification. Let's check on our development. We're at a five. So that's good. I said I was going to switch him, but I think I'm going to keep him on that because... Uh, we're getting bonuses for that, and it's going pretty well, so I want to keep pushing on that. Um, our marshal... Ah, everybody's at full control. Perfect. Uh, the level of splendor of our dynasty increased. Good. Alright, he gained opinion of us. Do we... He is just helping in that war. Do we want to declare war on him? Should we just subjugate him? I don't think our our vassal, I don't think, can join in a war against us. Uh, if we seize the county, we'd rather just seize the county. Do we want to gain the county, or do we just want him to become our vassal? The problem is we don't want him to die and everything go to Scotland. We still can't seize the duchy. We could change it from Meath or Munster. I kind of think we just want to conquer the county. So of these... Ah, we can't do that. All we can do is subjugate him. Oh, we can seize the de jure county. Okay. Uh, so do we want Ennis? Alright, let's see which is a better county. Athlone or Ennis? Mild winner right now. Normal winner. Uh, this only has two holdings. This has three. And I think... What are you, de jure part of Munster? I think I'd rather have this one because it's de jure part of Meath. Uh, and we could hold that high chieftain. Although, holding three does not... Uh, does not typically go well. Our vassals dislike it. Um, let's, so let's do it. Let's go ahead and declare war on you. We're going to seize the de jure county of Athlone. Let's declare war. Raise everyone here. We've got two armies. You just go there. You come up. All right, we had a daughter. With a tired yet blissful smile, Ilya presents me with a perfect little daughter. One day, child, you will carry on my legacy. What name would befit such a mighty lady? Catriona. I think that was the name of one of our ancestors. No, who was that? That was... 
a half sister. Yeah. It was a half sister of our dad, so one of our aunts. Uh, not too bad. Let's see what else we got. Well, Catrion it is. We're back to it. Okay, we have first army of Ketherlac and the first army of Dublin. Um, all right, let's actually see this other war. Okay, you are Oh, you are defending the Desmodian claim for the High Chieftain of Connacht, our uncle. Uh, he's allied with Scotland. That... Yeah. He's probably going to take that. We're really going to have to watch out for him. I more just want to know, you're in our war. You're allied here. Is this war still happening? It doesn't appear you're still in a war, so I guess I'm not sure why this army is still raised and sieging over here. This is the only war you're in. I think he's just up here sieging this down because it's one of my vassals. Okay. All right, let's deal with this. My brother had the prior brought forth for the revelation and judgment of a grand conspiracy. However, when the prior refused to confess, Menrick had absolutely no evidence to support for his accusations. Yeah, I don't care about this. I don't want the stress. It's going to spend our piety. Dang it. Menrique, you idiot. Go back to defending against schemes. Send this army over while this army sieges. Right, they're running away. They're gonna keep trying to run away. We gotta see if we can be able to catch them. Boiling anger. You might be a high king, but you are also a loathsome knave. The unprovoked anger expressed by my aunt Sorsha comes as a complete surprise. She's been under a lot of stress lately, but to behave like this, that even she struggles is calming. Okay, I don't know why she's pissed at us, but we'll reduce our stress. Maybe we'll get lucky and kill this guy in battle. Feeling better as I woke this morning and saw rays of sunshine falling through my window. It took me a moment to realize I had slept soundly for the first time in weeks. I did not wake up coughing once. Glad to be well again. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Our forces captured High Chieftain Dunlag of Meath and Dermate, the champion of High Chieftain Dunlag of Meath, after winning the Battle of Yume. So that wasn't too bad. Five months. Let's enforce our demands. We are going to gain the contested county. To the false High King Andrew, may your years be short and miserable. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. All right, we got the earldom. Let's disband our armies. Send our... Oh, we don't need to send our marshal. They're at zero control. Why? Huh, that's weird. Um, there we go. All right, here's our peasant uprising. We have been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more. We are done paying you taxes. Once your coffers are up and your larders are empty, you will wish you had treated us more fairly. Oh, well, he's a pretty good... He's got an excellent martial skill. Uh, I'm going to say never. 
Uh, we shall rally the troops. And let's have the prior peasant leader lead our army to we'll crush this peasant revolt. We wounded the enemy commander, put them down quite easily. Enforce our demands. So be it. Expand our armies and let's get our marshal. Uh, actually, I think I want to work on Athlone first. My Chancellor, Chieftain Kalik, has worked hard to convince our neighboring realms and vassals that the peace treaty I entered with High Chieftain Dunlug of Meath is flawed, illegitimate, and unfair to me. I'm once again free to declare war on him as I please. That is incredible work because it's been, uh, what, three months? And usually that lasts for like 10 years, so that's incredible. Uh, it looks like he did. Did he get remarried? Was he married to the same chick? When did she die? 961? No, that was a while ago. So he just must have had a son. All right, so that's much better. Uh, at least that land's not going to go to Scotland. But, um, yeah, since we've kind of consolidated everything here, This one last county is mighty tempting. All right, one of our uncles was slain. Somebody what happened to you. Who's our best shot at a steward? No vassals we need, so let's put you in there. You're not the best. Okay, what happened here? I feel like Okay, so you have your allied, uh, you've got a truce. Antonius, did he win that war? Your allied to the King of Scotland, I also don't like that. It looks like you didn't gain any more land. Well, okay, wait. Ah, uh, you did win the High Chieftain. Okay. So you still just have these two counties, Earldom of Thulmond and Desmond. I am the High Chief of Munster. That's what's going on. So he won that battle against his nephew, Antonius. So he still has all the counties of the High Chieftain. Uh, but he bends the knee to this High Chief. Well, we still got to keep an eye on him. All right, let's see. So our cousin Marcus. High King Marcus? Not sure how he got that title. That's my title. He is dead. We'll take him off there. So our vassals, are we down to... Yeah, we're just down to two vassals. Our cousin that has Oriel, and then our uncle. Let's take a look around here. You murder our father. Can we yet murder you? Extremely low chance. Let's check in our favorite, <laughs> Yarl Barter. Uh, I love this guy. 48. Uh, he's my favorite, but we're also probably going to have to take that. Uh, Antonius, who else? Yeah, so he's no longer our direct vassal anymore, so. All right, let's, since we can declare war here, um, conquer the duchy, conquer the county, we can subjugate him. Uh, I think I'd rather just seize that. He's got two allies, but I don't know that he can call one of them. Let's declare war. Raise all of our troops there. And move all of our troops in. Let's just check. Yeah, I don't think he's... Oh, 
That's right. He was allied to Scotland. No, he wasn't. Okay. That is our uncle who's allied to Scotland. Yeah, that would have been bad. So, his allies... I don't think he can call either Oriel or uh, the High Chief Calic because they are our vassals, so... Let's see if we can win this. Oh, good. These Vikings are just hungry for it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, a lot is happening. <laughs> uh, okay, he wants to take Ur uh, Oriel. It's a rat. Alright, well, uh, yeah, we have a lot going on here. I really need to win this battle quick. And it, so... Alright, we're gonna have Viking Adventurers. Uh, let's call all of our allies. <laughs> uh, these guys are probably not gonna help much. Doesn't have a lot of troops. Uh, let's call to war. Um, Alright, he's gonna join. He's bringing everybody. That's going to be tough. We're going to have to just basically figure out the order uh, we can do this in. So we're going to call him. The real thing we need is Scotland joining this war. So uh, he's got all these secondary spouses. Does he have the ability? Uh, let's go ahead and put a cut in there, and we will come back to this adventure next time.